In this video, we're going to compare the differences between processes and threads. Let's jump in. Before we compare processes and threads, we first have to understand what a program is. A program is a sequence of instructions written in a programming language. This code is then interpreted or compiled into binary code, which is then loaded into memory to be executed. Examples of programs include application code, like the code that runs Google Chrome or Microsoft Word, or even just simple scripts. Now let's move on to what a process is. A process is simply an instance of a program that is being executed, as well as the operating system and memory resources. Some common resources every process requires includes the code segment. This is the executable code. The data segment. This contains global and static variables that needs to be available from any part of the program. We've got the heap. This is just dynamic memory allocation. We have the stack, which contains local variables, function parameters, and handling function calls. This is what is being referenced in the classic saying stack overflow. We have registers. So these are small, fast storage locations directly within the CPU used to hold data temporarily during the execution of programs, including the program counter and stack pointer. Each process has its own separate memory address space, meaning that each process is independent of other processes. This separate memory space has the benefit of preventing one process from corrupting another process. However, since the memory spaces are separate, accessing resources from another process requires switching from one process to another, which requires a bit of execution time. On the other hand, a thread is a unit of execution within a process. Single threaded processes are processes that contain one thread, whereas multi-threaded processes are processes that contain more than one thread, which allow the process to do several things at virtually the same time. Each thread has its own registers and stack, but the rest of the resources, including the code segment, data segment, and heap are all shared among threads. As threads share the same memory address space as other threads within the same process, it makes communication between the threads very efficient. However, this also means that a single thread can corrupt an entire process. A classic real world example of a process in action is in browsers. For example, in Google Chrome, each tab is its own process. Again, while there is more overhead using processes rather than threads, doing so prevents one tab corrupting the entire window. Chrome also does some fancy stuff to reduce memory allocation to idle tabs. So it's optimizations like this that help if you're anything like me and you sometimes have way too many tabs open. An example of an application that uses threads are web servers like Apache. And so they use threading to handle multiple client requests efficiently. And it is this use of threads that allow the server to handle concurrent connections without the overhead of creating a separate process for each request. Finally, to recap, a program is a sequence of instructions written in a programming language. A process is an instance of a program that is being executed. And a thread is a unit of execution within a process. I hope this was a clear explanation of the differences between processes and threads. If you want more in detail technical solutions, make sure to like and subscribe. And also don't forget to check out techprep.app if you want to see the most up-to-date technical interview questions and answers. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.